Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part two of my updated Lululemon collection. If you guys missed part one, be sure to go back and watch that. I'll have it also linked down below in case you want to catch up on the first part of the collection, which included all of my like pants, joggers, leggings, shoes, accessories, etc. So be sure to head over to part one if you haven't seen that already. But part two is going to be all of my tops, sports bras, jackets, coats, hoodies, sweaters, scubas, etc, etc. So I'm super excited to be sharing all of this with you. The same disclaimer applies as in part one. I was a Lululemon educator, so I did get a lot of this with our educator discount that I had. It allowed me to buy so much more than I probably ever would have in my lifetime. So super fortunate and thankful that I was able to purchase a bunch of things. I do realize that this is a massive amount of Lululemon items and no average person needs this much. I 100% recognize that. So I just wanted to put that out there. So before you come for me in the comments, I already acknowledge this is an insane amount of clothing, but I do wear it almost every day. So I get a lot of use out of it. Plus it just lasts a long time. So I know these are pieces that I'm going to have in my closet for hopefully a very long time. And I also have a link down below in the description in case you want to shop any of these items, you can do so through that link to help support me here and my channel for making content for you guys. So be sure to check that out in case you're curious about any of the items that I do mention in today's video Also, just wanted to mention that I won't be trying things on because again, there's a lot of things So you're gonna want to grab a snack grab a drink get cozy get comfortable because this is probably going to be another Long video of my collection, but let's get right into it Okay, so the first thing I want to start off here with is like a line tank. So these are most of my high neck align tanks on hangers here. So I do have a plain black one. This one is pink taupe. Then I have charged indigo and creamy mint on the back. And then on this hanger, I have pastel blue and natural ivory on the back as well. So that's what I have for high neck aligned tank tops. Love these, I love the silhouette of them. They are made for a C and D cup. So if you are on that larger chest size range, I would highly recommend checking these ones out. They might fit a little bit better for you. Okay, my only waist length aligned tank is this one. I believe this was smoky red. Honestly, didn't love the waist length tank version. I do like the length sometimes because it's like easier to tuck into like a jogger or a pant. But honestly, I just felt like this wasn't like super flattering for my body type personally. But if you don't like the crop version, you want something with a little bit more coverage, this is going to be perfect for you. So I only have one because I just wanted to try it to see like what the length was, how it would look and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't wear this one a ton unless I'm wearing it with like joggers or pants that I need like I just want that extra coverage and I don't really want that like tiny little gap between the cropped tank top and the pant waistband so that's that one and now for my collection of regular line tanks I have true navy we have this is wild mint then we have delicate mint super pretty I have raspberry cream we have dark red this was from the lunar new year collection last year so it does have like the little gold emblem on the back love this for like Christmas and lunar new year time I have this one this one was ancient copper this was like my first aligned tank that I got so this one wasn't a size 4 well I'm like kind of between a size 2 and a 4 this one's a bit too big in the body but a size 2 fits better in the body so it's a little bit tighter in the band but I do find they do relax a little bit over time so I'll tend to go with a size 2 I also have do pink this one is one of my most worn aligned tanks I would say I also have Java to make a little set we have rainforest Green. This one is copper brown, I believe. There's that one. Then I have plain white. I also have blue linen. And I have a plain black one, but this one is actually like the ribbed version. So it does have like a ribbed texture to it. I don't have like a plain, plain black one. I did decide to go with this one instead because I liked the little ribbing detail to it. So that's all my align tanks. Okay, next moving on to sports bras. I have a bunch of free to be serene bras. So I have Scream Green. Haven't worn this one yet because I did buy it near the end of summer and I bought it to match my hottie hots to have a matching set. And then it just was not warm enough to wear a 
matching set so hopefully you can get to the gym wear that i have this one i believe this is night c and date brown i want to say i have this one in charged indigo i do not know what color this one is this was like one of my first ones same with this one not 100 percent sure it's not like the vivid plum or anything because that is newer this one is in ancient copper love this color i also have pastel blue we have water drop but this one is like the vintage slash vivid plum so it does have like the little dual straps love this the dual color ones i have this one lonely and very old free to be bra love this design i wish they still made these because it just has like the simple straps it is more of a light support sports bra but i do love this for like any hiking or anything like that where i don't need a ton of support or compression to it next we have some high neck sports bras i have this one this one does have a little logo on it and i believe this was wild mint i want to say this is the high neck energy and then i have this one in the shibori tie-dye orange something or other but again super cute love this one for summer again high neck energy bra and i also have this one in the camo in the high neck energy bra as well and i love these ones for working out where i just want to wear a sports bra i don't necessarily want a like full top because these ones do give me more coverage and i just feel more comfortable in them okay then i have my align bras so i have this one in the strawberry milkshake and then it's white on the other side i have this one that is just pastel blue on both sides some of these are reversible some of them are just the same pattern on each side this is the cheetah alpine white camo multi this is the charged indigo and the floral burst multi so it's reversible this one i have is silver blue and white opal and then i have one in java and most of these sports bras are size four my free to be serenes are size two because they are a c d cup so because it's like a bigger cup size then i went down one size in case you are wondering for size reference i do have two up to street bras this is the c d cup version so i have this one i believe this is pastel blue and then i have do pink as well i like these ones because they do have like the straight strap on the back so sometimes when i don't feel like wearing a racer back i like these ones as an option and they do have removable padding as well so just a little bit more coverage there too and next we have my favorite like everyday bra which are like a clowns if you've been watching my videos for a while then you already know but i do have one of the high neck versions i think this one's do pink i don't 100 percent remember every single specific color name doing my best here to remember but one high neck one and then i have two long line ones so i have this one in blue linen sorry it's kind of hard to see this one in blue linen and this one in pink peony then i have a whole bunch of the regular version so again i have another one in pink peony and that one came as a set of two so i also got it in black i have oh this is another long line in pomegranate then i have this one i believe this is lavender dew i also have this one in briar rose and this one as well i think this is cacao so that is all of my sports bras all right next let's move on to tank tops so first one i have here this is the cool racer back i believe this color is called pink puff i did crop it so it's not so long so it's more like a race length sadly i don't know if they even make these anymore because i have not seen them on the website for such a long time and they went on markdown for black friday and boxing day in black and white so i don't know if you can get these anymore but i do love that one as like a simple tank i also have a couple swiftlies this, this one is in pale raspberry and it is the the race length and then I also have pomegranate again in the race length great for working out one of my favorites this one is the all tied up tank it does tie in the back as you can kind of see there again love this for like a summer and I just like the silhouette of it too and then this is the mock neck half zip I believe this one's perfect for golf it doesn't have like a full collar on it so it depends on like the golf course you're going to but the ones that I golf at this is completely fine so that's like one of my favorite golf tanks also have two up to street tanks one in black and one in icing blue haven't worn this one yet just because i just recently got it and the last one here this is the silk model tank in raspberry cream honestly i wanted to love this i bought it on markdown and i think i tried on the black color of this one really liked it with the outfit that i was wearing but i don't know i just haven't really gravitated towards this one as much so i don't know if i'm gonna sell 
sell this one. Again, I'm selling all of my like Lululemon that I don't wear, like closet clean out type thing. And there's some good finds in there because there's still stuff brand new with tags. So definitely go check out my Vinted available for Canadian residents. Unfortunately, it can't ship to the US, so won't work for that. But if you are from Canada, want to shop my closet, then definitely head down to the description, check that out. But this one might also end up on Vinted. Okay, next moving into short sleeve tops. Let's start with Swiftly's. I have now five Swiftly short sleeves. These are probably my favorite right now out of all the Swiftly's, like tanks, long sleeves, short sleeves, half zips, whatever. Loving the short sleeves right now. So I do have this one in raspberry cream. This one is race length. This one, it was called Lavender Dusk, I believe. I did crop this one to race length. It does have like a thicker hem down at the bottom. So when you hem these ones, it doesn't like remain seamless. It does give it a like a hemline. So didn't love that, but I still love the color. So I still wear it. I have this one here in green Jasper. Again, race length. I have this one here in the Heather Core gray. This one is full length, but because of the other one that like didn't turn out well to crop it, I just left it the regular length and I just like fold it up anyways. And then I have a plain black one. Next, I have Kate's Tees. Honestly, this is like my favorite thing right now. So I have this one in the Heather Core ultralight gray. I have this one in blue linen. This one was a size four, the rest are size two. So this one's a little bit oversized and boxier than the other ones. And then I just picked this one up in black as well. A staple. Then I have all yours cropped tees. These are perfect for summer. I absolutely love them. So we have wild mint, sonic pink, raspberry cream, and white opal. Then I have my all yours tees. This one is icing blue. This one is pink clay. I believe this one is trench. Then I have the graphic one in charged indigo. I don't know what the like logo color is, but the shirt itself is charged indigo. And then I have this graphic one in dusky lavender. And then my last two random tees. This is the Kitsilano tee. I have had this for probably 10 years, I wanna say. I definitely got this in like late high school, maybe college. And this is like the best t-shirt ever. It is my favorite. It is the like most flattering fit, I feel like. Just the sleeves are the perfect length. I love this. They don't make this anymore. I think this was actually part of like the Seaweeds line or something that year, like a specialty line that they did because this has not come back at all. And I believe this was on Markdown when I first got it, but I wish they still made them. I wish they'd bring it back in the exact same design that this one is because it's honestly an amazing t-shirt and it's like my go-to basic top. And then I also have the Love Crew. This is the older version of the Love Crew. I do believe they updated them, like the fit of them. So this is like the older one, which I like better. I feel like the newer one just doesn't fit me that well in like the sleeves and shoulders. Maybe it's just a little bit too broad for like me personally. All right, next up, long sleeve shirts, as you probably could have guessed. Let's start out with Swiftly's. I have a lot. <laughs> So I have this one in Wild Mint. This one is the race length. This one in Lavender Dew. This one's the regular length. Then I have this one in Briar Rose. Again, regular length. Most of these I think are regular length. This one is Pink Mist, I believe. Again, regular length. This one is Vintage Plum, I want to say. Race length. This one is the Stripe one. I, I can't exactly remember. Maybe it is weird for Space Nimbus. White. Race length. And then this is my original Swiftly that I first got in the like darker gray. I don't think they make this gray anymore. Don't actually know the proper color code name to it, but this is like the one of the original Swiftly designs before they ever updated them. Love this one. Okay, then I have hold tight long sleeves. Absolutely love these. If you've already been watching my videos, then you know. So we have natural ivory. We have Cassis. I have roasted brown. This one's silver blue, I believe, and black. I actually have Rover as well, but I don't know what I did with that and where I placed it. So I'm gonna have to go look around to see where that shirt ended up, but I currently can't find it. But I do have Rover, which is more of like a gray, green, brown-ish. So I do have six hold tight long sleeves. All right, last two long sleeves. This is the All It Takes ribbed Nulu shirt. I really like this too because it is a little bit more cropped as well. So I feel like it just looks really flattering and is a great length. It does have that ribbing material and is super soft. And then I have my Ready to Rulu cropped half zip in the camo. I don't think I wear this as much as I probably should. So this might also end up on Vinted. It is super cute and comfy. I just 
don't have a lot to wear it for to be honest so as much as I like this I don't wear it that much all right, next moving on, I have a few pieces of swimwear to show you. I don't have that many, but I do actually really like Lululemon swimwear line. So in the summer when it comes out, highly recommend checking it out because I feel like it's actually a really good quality and really nice fitting swimwear. I know it's hard to buy it without trying it on and not all of the Lululemon stores carry it. But again, if you're willing to maybe order a couple sizes to like see what fits and return the other ones, then really recommend trying it out. This is the, I even forget, I don't know what these were called, but I do have a swim top and the matching bottoms to it. Again, I got a size two in the bottoms, which is like regular size for my leggings and a four in the top, which is my regular size for a sports bra, if that's any help. But this is like the cutest, it has like, little stripes to them and it's almost like pinky tan stripes so super cute makes you look super tan in the winter sorry i forget the actual name of these ones but super cute and then i also have this one as well again a little stripey swimsuit top did not manage to score the bottoms on these ones i think i found this one on markdown actually and the bottoms were sold out by the time i like went to look for them so i only have the top for this one but again super cute very flattering absolutely love the swimwear from lululemon so that is the three pieces of swimwear that i have all right, moving on, I do have one bodysuit to share with you. This is the only one I own. This is like the Align bodysuit. The one thing I do like about this one is that, that it does have multiple clasps that you can like adjust how like tight and stuff you want to clip it on. So I do like that about it. And then it fits basically just like a regular Align tank. This is the color Pink Peony. Okay, next let's move into second layer. So like sweaters, button downs, and lighter jackets. So the first thing I have here is this commission long sleeve. This is actually from the men's section. It's just a cute like button down shirt. I use this like as a little overlayer and I know like the white button down shirt trend was in last year, hoping it sticks around this year as well for kind of like the spring and summer, but this one just makes like a great little layering piece. This is the cotton cashmere wrap, I believe they called it. And I got this one a few years ago. This one's I love this, it's super nice, a very like cute little cardigan, second layer as well. I wore this to the office a lot when I worked in an office environment and it's just like a great extra sweater. I have two of the Merino Wool Blend turtleneck sweaters, one in natural ivory and one in briar rose. Again, these have been my go-to over the fall and winter as like something to dress up and they're just, I don't know. I love them. Okay, next moving into Define jackets. I have this one here in Lavender Dusk. This is the Luan one. I get a size four in all of my Define jackets. This is the We Are From Space Nimbus. This one is actually thrifted from Plato's Closet and it's more of like that Lux Dream material, I believe. No idea what the color code is. It's like very retro Lululemon, but actually I really love the like feeling of this sometimes. So I do have that one. And my last fine jacket is just the plain black Luan one. This is the first one I ever got. And this is over like 10 years old now. So pretty impressive that it's still holding up and looks pretty good. Then for the new Lu ones, I just have a plain hooded black defined jacket. Again, it's like that buttery soft material. And then I have a few of the cropped new Lu ones as well. So we have Sonic Pink, Pastel Blue and Wild Mint. Next category we're moving into is dresses. I have a few here. So this one is the Merino Wool Blend Turtleneck Knit Sweater Dress. So cute. This one was perfect for like the holidays. Love this. It is the like cutest little winter dress in my opinion. It's like that knit material. Absolutely loved it. Then I have the slim fit above knee dress. Again, this is like good for the office or if you need like a more semi dressy occasion. And this color is Artifact. Then I also have the cotton, classic fit cotton blend t-shirt dress. This one is ancient copper, I believe. Again, super basic like t-shirt dress, but honestly, I feel like it's not like too oversized. So I wore this all summer, absolutely loved it. We'll definitely get more wear out of it. And then I have one of the all yours tea dresses. Honestly, I wish I 
I love this more. It's more of a bathing suit cover up for me because it is so oversized. This is the color Ocean Air and it's a little bit like see-through I would say. I don't know. I feel like I'm just maybe a little bit too petite for this one because it is so like oversized and just it's very flowy so it doesn't really give me a lot of shape and so I normally just use it more as like a beach summer cover-up instead of like an actual like dress. Moving on, let's go into all of my sweaters. So these are not including scubas, but we will get to that category in a minute. So starting off here with like hoodies and things, this is the Loungeful Full Zip in Peach Satin. Again, you guys already know, I love the Loungeful line and anything in it. I hope they come out with more of these because honestly, this is like the best like classic just zip up hoodie. I absolutely love it. It's so soft, so comfy, and I hope they bring out more colors because I would definitely be open to getting some more. Then I have the All Yours hoodie in the Heathercore Medium Gray, I believe this is. Again, this was like the predecessor of the Loungeful line. Absolutely love this, but they don't make these anymore, unfortunately. But I would say the Loungefuls are like a great comparison and just as good. So this one's again, nice and soft, fluffy, your classic hoodie. Then I also have a City Sweat hoodie. This is from the men's collection. This is actually for like our team wear. So this is in True Navy. And again, I feel bad that I've like slept on these for so long, but they are another great, like it's a little bit more oversized size of a hoodie for me but you could size down too if you wanted this is like an extra small and it's still like a little bit oversized but honestly I really like them and they're like that French terry material so they're not too hot I could wear these in the summer but you could also like bundle up in it as well so don't sleep on the men's section and speaking of the men's section these are my favorite things this winter hands down they have the textured fleece oversized half zips these are like definitely back in style in a lot of brands, but this one in particular was just chef's kiss. So 10 out of 10, perfect. I've been living in these all winter long. They're just the best like throw on layer. And I like that it doesn't have a hood, so it's not like heavy or bulky. It is just warm and cozy. So I have black and I also have it in green Jasper, both of which I have gotten so much wear out of this Christmas winter season and probably will well into the spring until it gets too hot to even wear these But these are definitely a big win for me And I'm so excited to have these in my collection if more go on markdown I will definitely be picking up a couple more colors. So be on the lookout for that Okay, now for the long-awaited scuba collection part of this video. Let's jump right into it. First couple scubas I have here are like older versions of the scuba. So this one was a scuba crew. I don't think they make this anymore, but I do love this one because it doesn't have like a hood or anything on it. Just like a nice little pullover sweater plus it's like not fuzzy it's like french terry i'm pretty sure on the inside so it's not that hot and i love to wear these like in the summer on like a cooler summer day i also have the original scuba full zip this one is heathered blue linen so this one's not the oversized version it is more like of a slim fit i do have those two scubas to start us out starting out with the half zips here it's kind of hard to tell the color but this one is Heathercore Ultralight Gray. We have Pastel Blue, I have Powder Blue, and Delicate Mint. Then I have Roasted Brown, Raspberry Cream, Dew Pink, and Strawberry Milkshake. For the full zips, I have Natural Ivory Heathercore Ultralight Gray because it's like my favorite color of scuba. It's the most worn. And then I have Pink Blossom. And then my last one here is my Lavender Dew Funnel Neck. I only have one funnel neck just because they're not my favorite style, but I love Lavender Dew. It's, it was one of my favorite colors that Lululemon has ever made so I had to pick that one up just to have it like a scuba in that color so that is all of my scubas all right, and now it's time for our final category, which is jackets and outerwear. First two things I have here are the Wonder Puff vest. I have one in black and one in trench. These were all the range this year, so I had to pick up two. And honestly, I really love them. They're like a cropped version, so they're not too long, which I do really like, because I do have one that's like a roots vest, and it's a little bit more slim and a little bit longer fitting, but I feel like these ones are definitely like more trendy and just fit like my 
my torso length a little bit better. So I do have two of those that I do rotate between in like the fall and springtime. Even in the summer, like on the really cool summer days, because sometimes we get those here in Calgary. Next one I have is this cinchable fleece full zip. Now this could be classified as like a sweater and a jacket. It's like, kind of like one of those Teddy Sherpa jackets. I don't know. It's not like heavy, heavy where I'd like wear this like just as is in the winter unless it was like, you know, 10 degrees kind of thing. But it is super cute. I absolutely love this. I do wear it sometimes as a sweater like inside if I'm very, very cold. But typically, yeah, more like a lighter jacket, I would say. More like a Teddy coat. I have a packet down light jacket. This one is in blue linen and this is just the regular length, not the long or like the shorter one. And again, this one is like more of a lighter layer. So another great fall or late summer type of jacket or even into the spring. I do like this one because it does pack up into this wonderful little bag here if you are traveling with it. So it makes it super convenient to travel with. It is still like down in here and it is very warm for how light it is. Is. And my winter jacket is the Snow Warrior Parka. Love this. Best investment that I've made probably at Lululemon. It keeps me warm in those minus 30 degree temperatures. This has like been my favorite jacket. I finally found one that is going to keep me warm in our frigid Alberta winters. Highly recommend the Snow Warrior if you live in a climate like me where it is very, very cold. I love that it's not like just down, that it has like a water repellent and wind resistant outer. And then it does have like the down inside and also fleece on like the back and in the core, which is really nice. Plus these straps you can wear it as a backpack so if you are inside and you get too hot you can just like wear it as a backpack which is actually more handy than you think it is or if you're like skiing or something and get too hot you can wear it as a backpack so highly recommend checking this one out if you do live in a colder climate and that is all of my jackets and coats which wraps up this whole entire video and my Louis Lemon collection Thank you so much for joining me. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Leave me a comment down below on your favorite thing in your collection or your favorite thing you saw in this video. The only thing I did include in this entire collection is like socks, underwear and like masks, other like small miscellaneous things. I used to have a bunch of masks, but I don't really need them anymore because we aren't required to wear them for the pandemic, but I did have a bunch of masks, socks. I have a bunch of like the daily stride socks, but I, I don't know, I just felt like it was weird to show you. And obviously underwear I'm not gonna show on camera, but I do have a whole bunch of those as well. But that is pretty much everything in my entire Lululemon closet. Don't forget to go watch part one if you haven't already. And thanks for joining me for my massive Lululemon collection and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.